Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish and I would like to invite you to join us today as we take you on a musical journey of Italy featuring the magnificent city of Verona. From its great arena to ancient bell towers and ornate churches, from the picturesque bends in the Adige River to famous museums and works of art, all this and more we find here in Verona. Our music today comes from the shrine of St. Teresa del Bambino Jesu, featuring the great Rufati organ. Thank you for joining us. Verona is to love it, wrote one 16th century writer. Its wealth of monuments, art treasures, magnificent surroundings, music of the grand opera and sacred music of the church add to the warmth and inspiration of the city. It was our pleasure to perform music in the shrine of St. Teresa del Bambino Jesu. On the outskirts of Verona, we visit the shrine of St. Teresa of the Baby Jesus. Built recently at the turn of the century, this church is magnificently decorated with frescoes, mosaics, and beautifully carved marble in the Gothic style, which is uncommon for Italian church architecture. The sanctuary on the main altar features onyx columns and a crucifixion scene made entirely of precious stones. Above the altar is a carving made from one piece of wood by a sculptor who lived in the Dolomite Mountains. Also of special interest is the nativity delicately carved from a single piece of white marble.
Verona owes its very existence to the river and a great part of its history. The Adige is at the end of every street. It is impossible to imagine Verona without its river, without the bends in its river, without the famous Ponte Castelvecchia and the beautiful Ponte Pietra. Another one of the great Rufati organs in Italy is found here at the shrine of St. Teresa of the Baby Jesus in Verona, Italy. It features 4,700 pipes, 73 stops, and three manuals. The casework surrounding the pipes is intricately carved in marble, a notable feature in the decoration of this magnificent church.
Standing atop the Palace Mafé overlooking the Piazza del Herbe, we can see the beauty and the magnificent surroundings of Verona. Verona is cradled by the gentle hills of the northern Italian countryside. The setting for Shakespeare's moving and tragic play, Romeo and Juliet. The city is loved and adored by romantics all over the world. The amphitheater in Verona is the second largest in the world, the Colosseum in Rome being the largest. This arena dates back to the first century, and although there is no evidence that Christians were put to death here, the amphitheater, which holds 20,000 people, has been the center of entertainment
from the Roman games to grand opera to athletic competitions throughout hundreds of years.
thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music. Diane Bisch and The Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in making this program possible.